Welcome into Sunday Sermons. And uh, as usual, every Sunday, we read from uh, one of the publications uh, from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This happens to be the uh, 2016 uh, publication of the United Independent Compensatory Code System Concept. It's a compensatory counter racist code uh, by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This is the 2016 edition. It's revised and expanded edition, as you would say. This is actually a textbook work for, for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, white supremacy. If you're not a victim of racism, white supremacy, this is not the text for you. Um, as I said before, well, this is the 2016 version. There is a there's a re uh, re republished uh, 2000 rather uh, 1984 edition. It comes in the same size like that, but it has a computer face on the cover that's from the 2000 uh rather 20 1984 edition the first edition that was actually published that i know of i think there was something else published but at least, uh, i'm not it slipped through my brain so i don't i don't know what what that's all about there's also a word guide um now while i'm here in the states and this would be the i guess the last two what i'll probably do is i'll uh, because we're on youtube but what i'll probably do is i'll do one to, today is uh, is um uh, January 1st, 2023. And I'll probably, next week, I'll still be in the States in this location. So I'll do another one live, but then I'll probably do two or three, uh, well, two more um, to post it, to, to put it on YouTube so it'll, it'll come out in a, as a premiere, as a as a time-sensitive kind of thing till I get back to South Africa and get somewhat stable, right? Or somewhat back with the, with the book because I, I don't have the book, I don't have the book, and I'm not carrying this. I'm not carrying. I'm, I'm trying not to carry any weight. Um, but I have the original, the original, original 1984 edition. That's uh, that's in Dimbaza, and that and that's that. But the, basically, this is our scripture. We read out of Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. book. This is our scripture. You know, there's all kinds of scripture in this world. You how you you deal with some, uh, deal with others. You know, like this. Look, I'll give you an example right here. This is a uh, the uh, the New Testament as rendered by the. The Gullah, Gullah Geechee people, right? Well, that's scripture, right? But it's based on the um, King James Version of the Bible. That's scripture. So, so you have all kinds of scripture. So you can pick the scripture you want to uh, guide you on your way through this uh, planetary uh, situation. Um, but when, when I do get back to Dumbaza, and we are dealing with the scripture, is a, and, and as you uh, may or may not know, uh, well, let me just read one of the things from from the that Miss Neely Fuller uh, Jr. wrote in nineteen seventy one. If you do not understand white supremacy, racism, so you got racism in in uh, in our brackets right there, right? What it is and how it works, everything else that you understand will only confuse you. So this is a um, I say my attempt, but but this is an attempt to uh, unconfused confuse situations. But one of the things is that uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. does a a weekly uh, internet uh, broadcast or uh, transmission. Uh, it comes on Tuesdays from uh, nine nine to eleven uh, Eastern Standard Time, you know, in the morning. Um, so, um, but in that in that uh, transmission, he doesn't deal with uh, the ninth area of act of activity. Now there are. Oh, let me just give you all the areas of uh, of activity. Uh, there's um, well, I mean, oh here this time what there, there he says there's nine areas of of human activity, there's economics, right, education, entertainment, labor, law, politics which he defines as people relationship, religion, sex, and the ninth area is war counter war. On his weekly transmission, he does not deal with the area of war counter war. Now, there are reasons for that, and when you when you get the book, you'll go to producejustice.com uh, and order your, your books, and if you get it, you'll understand. Uh, but when I get back to Dumbaza, we have the original thing. We will deal with war, counter-war, um, but we won't deal with sex. That's just, just the way of my adjustment, right? So since we won't, since when I get back to um, to Dumbaza, uh, 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 and I'm broadcasting from there, since I won't deal with the area of sex, then I'm going to take this opportunity, I think, for the next few to, to deal, deal with the area of sex, since I won't be dealing with it, right? Okay, so I'm going to do it with, with two things on page uh, 
278 of, like I said, the uh, 2016 edition, right? And what he does is he has the uh, he has the questions in uh, in the bowl type there, and he has then he'll have answers or his interpretation or answers. He says here, and so it'd be bold and then his interpretation. I'm just going to read. Well, let me read the whole thing because the last one is pretty funny. Well, it's interesting to me. So I'm going to read three. All right. Here we go. Got my reading glasses on so I can go act fine. What are the best and correct things to say when thinking about your sexual activities? And his answer is, say one or more of the following. All my sexual activities have been the result of the system of white supremacy, and as in the brackets, racism. Then he ends the quote here. And the second quote. None of my sexual activities have resulted in the replacement of the system of white supremacy, racism, with the system of justice, balance between people, end quote. The third quote in that section with the question was, what are the best and correct things to say when uh, talking about your sexual activities? Third quote. My sexual, my sexual more, um, morality is an has always been to equal and or better than the sexual morality of all the white people who have participated in the system of white supremacy. Whoa, I got to read that one again. Here we go. Uh, the question was, what are the best and correct things to say when talking about your sexual activities? And he says, well, his, one of his answers is the third answer. My sexual morality is an and always has been equal to and or better than the sexual morality of all the white people who have participated in the system of white supremacy. This is why we like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. First of all, he's understandable, right? And two, you got to start thinking, right? Okay, now the second, the second question on this page, uh, uh, 278. When you suspect that the white supremacist that's be racist men, racist women, women, uh, collectively, are, are seeking to say things about you sexually in order to best help them to give strength to the system of white supremacy. Then he says, say, this is the one thing he says here, as a victim of white supremacy, I am willing to answer any question pertaining to my mutual sexual activities as soon as I have a guarantee that what I say will not be used in support of the system of white supremacy. Again, this is why we love Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. because it's all very logical, right? If you follow it down. And the last one, my favorite question, my favorite answer. When non-white people willfully, deliberately, and mutually exchange in sexual intercourse and or sexual play with each other, what people are qualified to criticize, pass judgment on, and or poke fun at them? The answer? No person is qualified. I guess that would be, uh, well, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, um, has three categories. That means that the white supremacist, the white, white, white culture, the whatever you want to call them, and the non-white peoples, right? None of those categories, no person is qualified to uh, say anything about the sexual play and uh, the sexual intercourse of, 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 of anybody else, basically, that's what he's saying. I mean, that, I think that's what it is. You'll have to interpret for yourself. So that's it for Sunday Sermon. Uh, this week, uh, next week, again, we'll be live from Virginia IA, uh, and then we'll have to, well, we'll, we'll stick with us and you'll see only on Sundays, whenever I get to put it up, whenever, okay? Now, I should be consistent with that. I should put it up at midnight every uh, every Sunday, well, midnight to Monday, yeah. I'll, fig I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, you take care. It's a little, uh, well, message, your weekly message on Sunday Sermon from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect from Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.